Hello everyone, this is Songa Mukherjee. Welcome to the course of Chess Traps and Tactics. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about the Fishing Pole Trap. The Fishing Pole Trap is one of the easiest trap for white to fall for. Actually, it is from the black's point of view. Many times, grandmasters have also lost to club players at the hands of Fishing Pole Trap. If a player is not familiar with Fishing Pole Trap, then the game can end very quickly. The fishing pole trap is derived from the Berlin defense of Rui Lopez or Spanish opening. So it starts with the move e4. After black plays e5, we have the king pawn opening game and you all know that. This is this all are the very standard move. Now knight to f3 is played. De developing the knight and also attacking the pawn on e5. Now black plays knight c6. Developing his knight and also defending the pawn on e5. Now white plays bishop to b5 and we have the opening line of Luis Lopez or Spanish opening. Now in this position black can play many different moves but this fishing pole trap is derived from the balling defense which start with the move. That means in this position black plays knight to f6 and this is the balling defense variation most popular variation in chess. Now the main line that is white castle king side in this position and black plays knight to g4 now you will think that this knight to g4 looks like an odd move because the knight has moved twice in the beginning which is usually not a good move but in this case quite most logical play is to kick the knight out with this h3 move gaining a tempo and forcing the knight to dancing around the board what quite does not realize that black is not going to move his knight instead black will play h5 in this position supporting his knight and waiting white to capture but in this position taking the knight will be a pure blunder for white now i will show you the variation which will be good for white in this position after black plays this h5 the better continuation there are two better continuation for white in this position first one is Bishop takes knight on c6 and after pawn takes bishop we have this move d4 Pawn takes on d4 now queen takes on d4 exchanging the queens now queen takes on d4 and knight takes on d4 and now you can see that this knight is hanging now black plays knight to e5 and you can see that the material is balanced for both white and black and the game is about equal so it will be better continuation for both white and black and the second continuation that will be better for white will be after this h5 played by black white can play knight to c3 developing the knight and after this continuation we have knight to d4 knight takes knight on d4 pawn takes on d4 knight to e2 attacking the pawn on d4 and also you can see that this knight is hanging now in this position black will play a6 attacking the bishop because you all know that most players prefer bishop pair than the knight pair okay now bishop to a4 is played obviously white wants to save his bishop now in this position black plays knight to e5 now white plays knight takes on d4 and black plays c5 in this position attacking the knight now knight to a3 is played knight takes knight queen takes knight and we have this move that is b5 actually black's idea is to trap the bishop on this b3 square okay this is the main idea behind this black's b5 move now white can play in this position e5 attacking the rook on a8 and now after rook to b8 is played and bishop to b3 black can play c4 and you can see that this bishop is trapped so in this variation black have a material advantage although white can play on in this variation but the worst variation will be after this position that is black play h5 here in this position if white immediately capture the knight then white will lose immediately after this continuation that is h takes on g4 attacking the knight on f3 and after knight to e1 is played we have the move that is queen to h4 now you can see that blacks threaten to give checkmate to white king to this h1 h2 square now there is no way that white can defend his king against black so obviously in most of the cases you see that 
white will play f4 hoping that in this position black will capture the pawn on f3 but this is not what black play in this position black will play g3 okay now after this g3 move you can see that there is there are no way that black can white can defend checkmate because this f f2 square is now protected by the pawn on f2 that's mean this king cannot go to this this way so after some ordinary looking move like knight to c3 or any move then there is checkmate on this h2 or this h1 square you can see that so this is the main variation of this fishing pole trap now the great thing about this trap is that if it does not work for black then black can simply bring his knight back to a safe square and does not lose much as far as position and development okay so this is all for this lecture in my next lecture i am discuss about some other chess traps and tactics thank you